G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. Today we're going to talk about my second and final review of Science Based Six Pack. So I will throw a link to the video up um, that I've previously done, which talked about Science Based Six Pack in quite a lot of detail in terms of you know what you get when you buy the program, uh, my initial experiences after the first four weeks of the program. Uh, but this is really, I mean, I'm I'm 12 weeks in now, so three months. It's a three month program. Whilst I haven't done a lot of the exercise that I was supposed to, I've certainly done all of the dieting. Uh, I have seen weight loss results, uh, but we're going to kick in through the, the pros and cons of Science Based Six Pack as a program, uh, my, my final uh, results and, and kind of my summary over the top. So I encourage you to check out the first video first. It'll make a little bit more sense, but certainly this video will stand, stand alone. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, thank you very much for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button. I release videos on a weekly basis every Tuesday. Uh, basically tracks my weight loss uh, and fitness uh, journey. Uh, it also it's it's also designed to give back to the community in the sense that you know I'm a I'm a complete beginner or I've started as a complete beginner on my weight loss journey uh, and I've learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way and I certainly share those in my videos. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment to say hi. Like the video if you get any use for use out of it. Anyway, so science-based six-pack uh, pros. Let's talk about the good things first. Um, you know, I've said this in my my previous video. It's a great introduction to intermittent fasting as a concept. Um, you know, it, it kind of takes you through the the basic foundations of an intermittent fast. It starts you on a sixteen-hour fast and it moves up to an eighteen or twenty-hour fast. So, you know, um, after after the first eight weeks of the program for the third and final four week block, it'll encourage you to do an 18 or a 20 hour fast. Uh, and that's great. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good introduction to intermittent fasting. It's also a good introduction to time under tension training. So instead of counting reps, uh, it's all about, um, you know, performing exercises in supersets, uh, you know, with a design to, to reach muscle fatigue um, on a timer rather than counting reps. So again, it's a good introduction to that. So those were the first two pros that came out of the program. Um, the second one, and, and really what initially attracted me to the program was, it is a great introduction to the science behind weight loss. It goes into the details um, to the point where there's probably too much detail. And you know, for someone like me who didn't really understand biomechanics all that well, uh, it launched me into a whole bunch of research that's helped me to learn a lot about the science behind weight loss and also the science around how the body works. So it, it, it's good as a primer, uh, it's good to kind of get the, the uh, research juices flowing, if you will. Um, you know, it'll encourage you to go and do a little bit more research. And certainly, if you just take it all on face value, you will learn a lot. It's just it's quite a, a lot of information to take in, in a short period of time. So that was my, my you know, third pro, really. Uh, it's a good explanation of the science driving both the program itself and also weight loss in general. Uh, and the, the last one, um, the last pro really is... If you're looking for a program where you don't need to do much, you don't need to learn much, you can just blindly follow the program. I think it will work for you. Um, you know, if you're someone who was a beast like I was, um, you know, and you blindly just do what you're told to do throughout the program, then I actually think it's, it's, a, a, it's a great program for just not thinking and just doing. Uh, if you follow the instructions, you will lose weight. Uh, and the last pro from my perspective is Thomas Delauer, uh, Thomas Delauer rather, um, does put a lot of content on the internet. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos about the science behind weight loss. Uh, little tidbits on, you know, recipes. Uh, That's where I got my magic water recipe from originally, uh, before I started to, to kind of play with the volumes a little bit. Um, you know, he does have a lot of five, 10 minute videos that give you a lot of information about weight loss. And I, I think that's great. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of all the good points about the science-based six pack program. The last point, you don't really need to buy the program. Obviously they're all free to, free to watch on YouTube. So, um, and that, you know, we'll, we'll come back to that in the summary. So the cons, um, as I work through the program, and this is a bit of a weird one, as I work through the program, I found that you know, he, he provides you with um, some macro ranges, you know, eat between 25 and 45. I'm just making numbers up. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, you know, between 25 and 45 grams of protein for these two meals, your, your main meal and your dessert meal. Eat these, um, you know, 
fat content throughout the day and he breaks it down into your mini meal one, mini meal two, um, main meal and, and dessert. He does that for all three macronutrients. And then he provides a range of uh, recommended recipes for eating through the program. So he'll say, um, you know, for mini meals one and two, eat this stuff for mini meal one and this stuff for mini meal two for each of the three phases in the program. And that's great because it's basically saying, if you want to make up your own recipes, then stick to these macro targets. If you can't be bothered, then take some of these sample recipes and, and use them. And I've certainly got a lot of benefit out of the smoothie recipes for the protein shake. Um, that's about all I've really used it for. The rest of the recommended foods or the, the example foods, I've just ignored because either they're too difficult for me to get that food in Australia. There's some very specific, uh, specific um, foods to use. Like there was some Ezekiel granola, for example, and you don't use a lot of it. It's kind of just uh, to add a little bit of carbohydrates and sugar, but um, or, or sugar is carbohydrates, but you know what I mean. Um, and I couldn't find it. So, you know, but for the most part, I, I took the smoothies and I ignored the rest. But what I realized throughout the program, though, is if I start tracking my macros, which I always have, if I track, if I eat everything in his recommended list and it gives you some options. So I haven't tried various combinations, but ultimately I took the mini meal one that he suggested that I liked, mini meal two that he suggested that I liked, uh, main meal um, that I liked, you know, he gives you three different examples for each phase, and then dessert that I liked. And again, he gives you, I think, one or uh, two examples for each phase. So let's just say I'm doing phase two. I'm smack in the middle of the program. I follow his recommended meal for mini meal one, mini meal two, main and dessert. Now, if I put all of that into my macro tracker, and it doesn't matter how many database entries I use to try and hit the numbers, I never get anywhere near the macro targets that he's set for that phase of the program. So if he says you should be eating, say, 120 grams of protein for the day, if I add up the protein content in all of his recommended items, I either get 160 grams of protein or I might get 80 grams of protein. But no matter what I do, I sure as shit don't hit the targets that he says that I should be hitting. So I'm really confused. That, that doesn't make sense. I think if you start to tease it apart, there might be some flaws. I mean, look, there's the obvious flaw of, hey, you should eat this much, you know, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Now, that's ultimately going to add up to uh, an, an energy intake. And without knowing how heavy you are, um, you know, there's no real way to know whether or not that's going to be an appropriate total energy intake for you. Now, um, in my next video, uh, which will be released Tuesday week, uh, we'll talk about exactly how to calculate your macros um, for a total energy intake, but we'll start with the energy intake. Now, that's an obvious flaw with any program where they've flat out said, eat this much of X, Y, Z, um, because it's going to tally up to a total intake. That intake may not be appropriate for your needs. And in the appendixes or the FAQs of the program, it does talk to you, talk to you about briefly how to how to tweak your own or how to come up with your own energy intake and your own macros. Now, uh, you know, a lot of the research I've done disagrees slightly with the ratios that he talks about. But again, we'll talk about that in another video. But my first con really is that his recommended food items don't add up in any way that I could find to his recommended macro targets per day. That's a fairly significant flaw. Um, you know, I've said before, you, you kind of have to take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, um, but I just would have thought that it should have added up at least re roughly, you know, a plus or minus 5% fine. But when you're 20, 30% out, you know, that's significant. Uh, and that can change the balance of a diet pretty quickly, particularly when you start to approach keto, which again is we're not going to talk about today. Uh, we'll talk about that next week. Um, my second con, the email spam. I mentioned this in my first review. The email spam hasn't stopped. I'm getting approximately five spam emails from Thomas DeLauer per week. Five, six, seven. I think seven is probably the max I've received in a week. Call it one a day. On some days, I'll get two in the same day. Now, I, I know it's a small thing. I could just block the guy and I'm about to, but it pisses me off. I didn't sign up for a mailing list that I'm aware of. And even if I had, he gives you two different buttons to unsubscribe. Neither have actually unsubscribed to me because I continue to get spammed. I've also contacted Science Base Six Pack tech support via email on no less than three occasions. 
and have said, here's my issue, please fix it. And they've said, oh, really sorry, we've now taken you off the mailing list. And yet I continue to get friggin' spam. Uh, and, and I will say the spam is all high pressure, junky emails that you would expect if someone was selling Viagra. You know, it's all, have you heard about the latest, um, you know, horrible toxic chemicals that you're eating in your everyday food, but don't worry, I've got a solution for you. It's really high pressure, low wit. Um, you know, I, I, to be honest, it's, it's really given me a glimpse into a completely different aspect of the business. Now, it is a business. It's there to make money. Um, but I just think high pressure mailing lists probably isn't the right way to do it. I, I just feel like it might be preying on the on, on the demotivated and the depressed people who have signed up for the mailing list probably want to lose weight. And then you've got this guy or this, you know, this company sending you an, an email a day, basically saying, hey, buy my program right now and you'll get $200 off. Oh, and the next day you'll get another email. Oh, only five more copies of my program left. It's a friggin' digital product. There's a an infinite number of copies. There's only five copies of my program left. Buy it now, or you'll miss out. And then the next day it'll be, oh, only one left. You know, you could be the lucky one. I only sent this email to three different people. I picked your name out of a hat because you're special and important to me. And then after the offer expires, you know, two or three days after that, you'll get an email from someone purporting to be his friend, usually a female saying, hey, don't worry. I've, um, you know, I've made an exception just for you, but you really need to act. Don't tell Thomas I've done it. I mean, what is this crap? It's supposed to be a weight loss program. I get pressure sales from used car salesmen, but this junk, I, I really did not expect. And it's a major detractor for me, particularly after I've asked to be taken off the list. It pisses me off. The third and final con, no follow-up. So, you know, I said in my first review, I never expected anyone to call me. I was really pleasantly surprised that 20 minutes after I paid my money for the program, admittedly, I paid 100 or I paid 40 or 50 US dollars more than I should have because I opted to go um, through a version of the website that allowed me to put PayPal details in so I didn't have to give this guy my credit card. So I paid a 30, 40 dollar premium for that, which pisses me off. Um, but I then got 20 minutes afterwards, I got a phone call talking me through what do I weigh, what do I want to achieve, you know, um, you know, what's my experience in terms of counting calories and macros, and then he put me on a program. He also told me to send him weight loss videos once a fortnight. So send front, side, and, and back shots uh, of myself topless once every fortnight so they can track my progress. And he said, whatever you do, don't not send the photos because then I can't see what's going on with you. And if the program's not working for you, it's really hard for me to figure out why. Cool. I thought that was really surprising and impressive. I sent uh, photos for the the day I started, two weeks later, and then two weeks after that. And then I stopped. I just, I started getting the spam. I started getting annoyed. I just wanted to see what would happen if I stopped sending the, the photographs. And lo and behold, nothing happened. No follow-up call, no follow-up email, no, hey, Pete, you haven't sent any pictures for a while. Is everything all right? Have you fallen off the wagon? Don't stress. If you have, get back on the wagon. Here's what we recommend you do to kind of reset. Now, thankfully, none of that happened for me. Uh, I continued on with the program. I've, and ironically, I've, I've taken photos every, every week-ish. It's been a little sketchy lately, but pretty much every week since I started the program. So 12, 12 weeks ago, I've got 12 photos and eventually I'll sew it all together onto a YouTube video that shows my weight loss journey over a period of time. I think we're up to four months since I started. I'll probably wait until six months and throw that up. It'll be interesting and a little more than a little humiliating for me. But anyway, no one followed me up. So that, that kind of pissed me off. Now, if no one had called me in the first place, no one had asked me to send photos, then I wouldn't have had this expectation. But that expectation of someone giving a shit was created by them calling me. And once it was created, it certainly hasn't been met since. So that's another con. And if it feels like I'm kind of leaning towards the cons, um, fundamentally, well, we'll come back to it at the summary. I don't want to, don't want to give the end of the video away. We're already running at 15 minutes. That's crazy. Um, so my experiences, I'm going to throw the graphs back up. You've already seen the first, uh, you've seen four weeks pre, uh, science based six pack and you've seen four weeks, uh, the first phase, the first four week phase of science based six pack before, but I'm going to throw a graph up now, which will show you what's happened since. So as I'm, as I reported before, 
leading up to starting Science Based Six Pack, just counting calories, just um, making some minor adjustments to my food, but without any kind of macro targets, without any calorie target, just watching what I eat fundamentally and making some slightly better choices without any real information behind it, I was losing 1.3 kilos per week in the four weeks leading up. When I started the program, I was at 105.9 kilograms. Um, so the following four weeks, the first four weeks of the program, I dropped an average of 1.1 kilos. And I said in my first video that I didn't think it was fair to start judging that because I might be putting on muscle mass and not losing weight um, as quickly on the scales because I'm losing lots of fat, but I'm also putting on muscle, which weighs more. So let's talk about what happened after that. So after the, f the first four week period, I kind of stopped exercising, but I stuck to the diet religiously. I moved into phase two of the diet where it is more calorie restricted or more, yeah, it's calorie restricted or it's also carbohydrate restricted. So it starts to drop and, and push you towards a ketogenic diet. So in that second four week period where I wasn't, I wasn't doing much exercise at all. So I'm no longer putting on heavy muscle. And if anything, I should be losing muscle there. I should be experiencing muscle atrophy uh, because I'm not working those muscles out and I am in a calorie deficit. I only lost one kilo per week. So I've gone from 1.3 kilos to 1.1 kilos to one kilos. And those are averages, they're weekly averages over a four week block, each of those three numbers I gave you. And that's when I stopped with the nutrition program that, that comes with Science Based Six Pack. That's when I started tweaking. I started making my own choices. I started calculating my own macro targets and my total, total calorie intake based on my actual experience and also my research on the internet. And I've essentially thrown out, I'm the only thing I'm sticking to, I'm still intermittent fasting every single day. I'm now at a 20 hour fast with a four hour eating window, which was more convenient for me anyway. And that was the, the, the recommendation from, from the program. But I totally changed my diet. So, well, I didn't totally change it. I, I customized my diet. I ate the things that I wanted to eat to hit the targets that I had calculated for myself, which we will talk about in the next video. So, the results of me tweaking my own program, I've been, I'm now dropping 1.5 kilos per week on average over the last four weeks. So, from my point of view, this program, and, and in summary, um, you know, I, I feel like it's open, it's a gateway. Science Based Six Pack is a gateway. It should encourage you to go and learn more about weight loss. It should encourage you to learn all about the science behind weight loss. And it is a good place to start. Science Based, science -based Six Pack Program is a good place to start with the science behind weight loss. Um, it also works really well if you blindly follow it. You will lose weight. I don't feel you will lose weight at maximum efficiency, but you will lose weight. Ultimately though, I feel like Science Based Six Pack feels like a high pressure sales environment designed to sell you the program and then follow up by sell selling you every supplement you can think of. Fundamentally, my, my take on the supplements, and I've tried them all, well, I've tried most of them, the ones that he sent to me at the start of the program, they're crap compared to the stuff I get locally. Now, I don't know what he charges for that stuff because I've never paid for it, so I don't think it's fair to say that you know, it's crap overall because it could be really cheap um, and I'm going out and buying really expensive stuff. Now, I know that my local supplier only stocks good quality supplements and I am paying a premium for that and I'm okay with that. So, I don't have a price comparison between is his stuff really cheap and the stuff I'm buying really expensive and therefore his quality is lower as a result of the price difference or is his quality just, just not good? Uh, but I would expect someone who's touting weight loss and the way that he is on YouTube with hundreds of videos and high pressure sales, high pressure mailing list that you can't escape once you're locked in, I would expect his quality be, to be extremely high. I don't expect to get 10 grams of carbs with my 20 grams of protein. Now that's an exaggeration. I gave the exact numbers in the previous video, but it was very, very high considering I'm now getting in my protein 25 grams of protein with less than one gram of carbs. So for someone who's on a keto diet, that's extremely important. Anyway, so, you know, if you're lazy, buy it. I, that's my recommendation. Fundamentally, if you want to blindly follow a program and, uh, you know, and get weight loss as an outcome, um, go and buy the program. Otherwise, ultimately, there's no information in there that you can't get yourself. If you're not lazy, if you want to do some research, get on YouTube, watch videos like mine. I'm not free plug, sure, but 
you know, I do talk about some of the fundamentals as I learn them, but there are hundreds and hundreds of channels on the internet and there are millions of articles and blogs and websites dedicated to weight loss and how the body works. I would recommend you start by understanding what your, you know, how to calculate your macros. I'm going to throw up a video of my own next week on how to calculate macros, but there are thousands already out there. Um, you know, how to, you know, go join a gym, do a fitness program, work out at least three, if not four times a week. Definitely get yourself into intermittent fasting and start researching what that is and how to do it. Calculate your macros, stick to your nutrition, do your fitness. And I actually think you'll get a much better outcome because it'll be tailored for you. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. It's a long video. I'm sorry. Um, please, if this is your first time uh, and you want to see more videos introducing you to the concepts of weight loss as I learn them in layman's terms with the no bullshit approach that I take to everything, then hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you got some got some value out of this uh, video. And also, please leave me a comment. If you've tried the science-based six-pack program, let me know if you've had good or bad experiences with it, either following it or your interaction with the company that it represents. Um, you know, on balance from my perspective, I'm glad I bought it ultimately, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. And that's just my personal opinion. Um, like the video, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next Tuesday where we'll be talking about how to calculate macro content um, and particularly for keto. So I'll see you then. Bye.